When you ask, God answers. Sometimes right away, sometimes not. Personally, I've been going through the fire for several months now. And I've been asking God for strength and guidance. I believe his answer was in my having to come to you today and to prepare what I have for you today. He had to remind me, God did, of Romans 8.28, where it says, partly, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. How is it that adversity that's befalling me, because I wanted to make this personal and practical for everyone, but how, how is it that adversity that is befalling me for my good? How can I praise him when I feel that everything is so broken in and around me? It's counterintuitive. What I know is God is good all the time and all the time, amen. It's so easy to dwell on the negative when we find ourselves in unfamiliar or uncomfortable or unwanted situations. We don't like how it's making us feel. And if you're in it for a while, you think God is not listening and that all we want is just relief. If you're someone that tends to gravitate to what is wrong and allow your feelings to rule, it will take a constant, conscious effort to redirect your thoughts and your attitude towards heaven. It seems counterproductive to do this when we analyze it in our own minds, but that's how God works. We're not to lean onto our own understanding. It's not uncommon that God asks you to do the opposite of what you think you should do. Just like when he says, love your enemies and do good to those who persecute you. Just like when he told the crippled man to take up your bed and walk. Just like when he uses the meek and lowly or the weak and inexperienced to do great tasks. Just like when we are to praise him while we are in the midst of the struggle we must remind ourselves of the good things that God has done and the current blessings that we are receiving in spite of our situation so that we can encourage ourselves in times of struggle to move forward in faith. Remember what it says in James 1.17 that every good and perfect gift comes from God. How is God good? His goodness shows up in his mercy towards us because none of us would be here if we had to suffer the consequences of our actions. His goodness shows up in his faithfulness because it says in Hebrews 13, 5, that he will never leave us or forsake us, even though we leave and forsake him over and over. His goodness shows up in his constant pursuit of us waiting for us to surrender and come to him. His goodness shows up in times of struggle because it says again in Romans 8:28 that he turns everything around for our good. We must trust that he knows what he's doing. The ultimate goodness of God is in his life sacrificed so that we sinners have a way back to him. Summarizing Joshua 1:8 God's word will never lead you astray. Therefore, if you are careful to read the very breath of God, you will learn just what God wants for your life. God is a good God, so we can be confident that his word and his path for our life will lead us down the road of success. God's goodness isn't hiding, and his favor doesn't make limited appearances. We just have to have eyes that seek to find. 
we're not always keenly aware of God's goodness, which is why the Apostle Paul prayed for his friends to be enlightened. He wrote to the church of Ephesus and told them that he was praying that their eyes may, and heart may be enlightened. Here's the deal. Goodness surrounds us. When I start looking for good things in my life, I realize they can be found everywhere, even in unlikely places. Sometimes when God's favor is the least visible, it is functioning, functioning at its best on our behalf. Train your eyes to see the good and watch the good revealed around every turn. God's goodness can be drawn to you by your attitude and your mindset, and it can be kept from you by the very same. Goodness may be impartial from one person to the next, but that doesn't mean it's compatible with everyone's attitudes and mindsets. When we choose to be a good, a good finder, it increases God's favor in our lives. Seeking God's goodness daily helps us to expect good things to show up in our lives. God had to take me to his word to remind me in my time of struggle to seek his goodness. It's all around me. He had to remind me to direct my thoughts and my attitudes towards heaven and that every good and perfect gift comes from God. He had to remind me and encourage me that in the struggle, God is refining me, strengthening me, teaching me, and working it out for my good. And I end with this prayer. Heavenly Father, in all situations, at all times, you are good. Even when my circumstances are challenging, I know you are good. When everything seems to be going wrong, I trust that you are working everything for my good. I have faith in your plans and your love for me. Nothing compares to you. There is none like you. You are worthy of all the glory, honor, and praise simply because you are. Nothing can add to you and nothing can take away from you. You are constantly powerful, kind, just all-knowing, I am humbled that I can get to know you. Please forgive me for my sins, and I thank you for all of your blessings. Thank you for being the one I can count on, and thank you for being so, so good. In Jesus' name, amen. So God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good.